Alright guys, today I am going to show you how to install and use the Hellcats Recovery Flasher version 6 on your PlayStation Portable. Now a few things the Hellcats Recovery Flasher can do. For an example, if you upgrade to a um, firmware that you do not like and you want to go to a different version of that firmware, you can downgrade um, using this to a different custom firmware and then re-upgrade so you don't have to plug in the Pandora and downgrade all the way to the fucking bottom and do it all over again and yada 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 yeah so that'll save you some time another thing this can also do is uh, fresh install and reboot the whole system creating it and putting it back on um, to official firmware in case you want to get rid of your PSP at, let's say, for an example, GameStop, uh, because they will not take custom firmware PSPs. Um, you can also um, be able to send this in for repair to Sony as well by doing that, and you will flash install. It's uh, for PSP 1000s and 2000 models. You can either flash install 1.50 uh, official firmware, and you can either or you can use it on a 2000 model and install the 3.71 official firmware <coughs> and I will have a video on showing you how to do that as well but right now we're just going to focus on showing you how to downgrade in this video for an example to show that it works and um, I'm going to be using a PSP 1000 model as you can see it's pretty fat and um, yeah this is a 1000 model because it has the trigger mechanism to open up the, US the UMD port but other than that, let's uh, get to installing the Hellcats Recovery Flasher and using it for you guys. So enough of my jib jab, let's get down to business. Alright, so here we are at my uh, PSP 1000 model. And uh, I'm just going to scroll down to the uh, system settings here. And I'm not sure if I have the uh, MAC address blocked. Okay, it is. Alright, so you can see what firmware I'm running on, you guys. It's 5.50 Gen D full for my firmware. Um, Simply, all I'm going to do right now is um, take a USB cord and plug the PSP into USB mode. And that's said and done. Enter USB mode and then just come to the computer. Alright, so the main file I'm going to have you download is right here. It's the flash, uh, the rflash160.rar file. And, um,. I'm also going to have you download some other files as well. Um, I will have links. You need the official firmware uh, PVPs renamed as what they are, like what version. So I'm going to have you download some of the versions for that. Um, I have available to you, I have the 150.pvp. That's for installing uh, fresh official firmware. I have the 500, the 401, the... 380, the 390, <clears throat> and the 371 also for links, and I will have you download some of them. Um, so what we're going to do now is we're going to open up the my computer and bring up the PSP memory stick. Do, 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 and while that's doing that, um, I want to fucking search back. Uh, do, do, do. Brew. So, okay, back to the R Flash 160. Simply, what you're going to do is you're going to. Do, 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 if I can just exit that. Well, hold on one second. Let me open up the PSP memory stick here. Alright. That's open. Alright. Anyways, double click on the R Flash 160. Um, RAR file that I have for download. I will have the link available. Double click on that and open that up. <clears throat> Come on. Alright, so now that that came up, uh, inside here you're going to see uh, the firmware 1.50 and the recovery folder. You're going to click on the recovery folder and inside there you will see an eboot.pvp. That is the Hellcats recovery flasher. If you go back and take this recovery folder, come to your PSP memory stick. Now go into the PSP folder on the PSP memory stick. 
and then open up the regular game folder and simply all you're going to do is drag and drop that recovery folder into the PSP game folder um, <clears throat> now I've already done that so I'm not going to rewrite it but I will let you guys know that you are getting the same file that I have I've set up this link and these files so forth like this um, so you can exit the WinRAR now and if you go back to the root of your memory stick for the official firmware PVPs such as the ones that I showed you before and I'll just go to them really quick um, for an example I'll take the 500 PVP because that's what I'm going to downgrade to um, simply all you're going to do right now is take that and drag and drop that into your root of the PSP memory stick and as you can see I already have that in there and you will also do that with any of the other files that I provide for download as well now once that is done, um, you can pretty much um, exit your PSP and come back to the PlayStation Portable. Alright, back at the PSP, we're going to exit USB mode like so, and scroll over to the game, and open up the memory stick, and scroll to see, well it should be the first one for you guys, but I had it on here for a while, but you will see the Hellcats recovery flasher, start that up. And it'll say loading at the top of the screen, and you will also see it might flash twice, and then it'll recognize your PSP version. Now, for downgrading to a certain custom firmware, you are going to see this menu come up, and you will see target firmware, and that's how you change that, just by hitting the X button. You have 371, 380, 390, 401, load from an external, or the 5.00 which would load the 5.00 M33-6 you're gonna say install custom firmware of version selected above for downgrading your custom firmwares um, now install fresh official, official firmware if you click on that it'll run a BIOS and it'll extract the files needed and create a backup for the official firmware 1.50 and you also need the 1.50 PVP located in the root of your memory stick as well and then you just go to flash restore complete firmware from backup and select the one that you had just created for the backup whether it be a 2000 or 1000 and it will clearly state that and then you just click on that and it'll install the official firmware but I'll have a video on that but right now let's downgrade to 5.00 M33-6 so you're gonna say reset and format settings as well just to be on the safe side and now it's gonna do its thing so basically just wait for it to complete and a quick shot of the action okay all right so now it's done and it says press any button to shut down so basically just hit any button you want uh, if it doesn't just hit the power switch and wait for it to power down you will see the power button is flashing like so um, that's totally normal and you just have to simply wait for that to shut down it takes about maybe a minute at max so I'm gonna pause all right so now turning the power back on we are gonna have to Restore these settings and so forth. <laughs> Come on. All right, hold on. Okay, we're back. Um, if it freezes like that, like it just did, take out your memory stick because you might have things programmed not for M33 and it might be messing things up. Also, it might freeze here at system settings, that's totally normal, it's just like writing some shit. So basically all you're going to do is just wait for it to um, comply So and do its thing, so just wait. Alright, anyways, it might take a few restarts and what forth, but all in all, we are running on 5.00 M33-6. And you can clearly see that it is the same PSP, so I'm not jipping you guys. Um, but yeah, that's about it. So that's how you use the Hellcats recovery flasher on your PSP for downgrading your custom firmwares. Um, I will have another video on how to downgrade to official firmware and uh, simply it's just going to be normal updates, things like that. But uh, yeah, other than that, I will have the link to this for a download. I will have the link to all the official firmware PVPs renamed to what they need to be. It's put in the root of the memory stick. So yeah, if you got any questions, leave me a comment, send me a message. If you got any other recommendations for any videos you would like to see on my channel, just leave me a comment on my channel page right there, and I will get back to you on that as soon as I can. But other than that, subscribe, stay up to date, and I will talk to you guys later.
Take it easy.